Hey what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole and yesterday Ubisoft released the title update 4.0 for Watch Dogs Legion. There's a ton of stuff we're going to go over today, so let's get into it. So first off, there are two new operatives. The first type is a DJ, whose ability is called Feedback Loop, which is basically stunning enemies nearby, and also short cooldowns and more damage. And also a first responder whose abilities and gadgets are an AR medical shield and a hydraulic rescue tool. Now let's talk about the advanced character customization. This is one of the things that I was actually super excited for. So they've added three new options in the clothing menu, one to toggle clothes, which we'll talk about what that's used for in a second, one to rotate your operative around, and another one to choose between your different operatives in the menu without having to actually go back out, go into team, and then switch your operative and go through a whole loading screen. So that is really, really nice. And they have added so many customization options to the game. So there's a ton of different hairstyles that each cost about 280 ETO. Pretty much any hair color for 200. Facial hair for between 240 and 396 ETO. Facial hair color for between 160 and 320. Tons and tons of piercings anywhere from 120 to 1196. A bunch of tattoos, which is actually what the toggle close option is for uh, because there's a lot of you know, tattoos on the back of their head and they're, they're like whole body tattoos. And those can go from 264 to 1280. Nail polish and different colors and styles that go from 200 to 280. And a ton of makeup for 200. Also something is now that you can see all the shops in the city where you can go buy clothes from. And you can see the ones that you've unlocked or bought already. And then you can see the ones that you haven't bought. Now there are five new operator abilities. Pickpocket is where operatives can earn currency on each takedown. Second Wind, operatives quickly regain health while defending enemies. Wanted, Albion or Clan Kelly enemies will attack upon detection anywhere in London. Hoarder, operatives can loot and carry more ammo. And Stuntman, operatives take less damage from falls, explosions, and collisions with vehicles. Now let's talk about the Season Pass content. So if you are a Watch Dogs Legion Season Pass owner, once you boot up your game after updating, there will be a character waiting right outside the DeadSec HQ called Mina. Now Mina is really cool, we actually heard about this in their kind of roadmap that they released a few months ago. Mina has what's called an Omni Optic, which basically gives her the ability to control other people's minds, and this is really really cool. Like you can literally just go up to anyone and then just control them. It does have a limited range where you can go from Mina, but it's much farther than the spider bot or the drones. And then also there's an ability which basically is a wave, which I like to call headache mode, where everyone's just like screaming, like like holding their head. And uh, it's basically an incapacitator for pretty much everyone in the area for a decent amount of time. She also has a really cool melee animation and this really weird like echoey type voice. And the other thing that was added with the season pass is also a mission. Now, I won't really be getting into spoilers. I mean, it's not that of an, much of an interesting mission. It's called Swipe Right. And basically, you have to go around and recruit a bunch of different types of operatives to get on this guy's dating profile because the guy he works for has been smuggling artifacts from Egypt and you have to take him down. It's a uh, nothing too revolutionary, but pretty interesting mission. Now, let's talk about online. There are two new gadgets in online. There's a mounted shield. Uh, which is kind of like an, an AR shield that can shield you from drones. And then there's a guardian drone, which is basically like a, a little buddy drone that stays right next to you. So you can walk into a restricted area and then it'll start hacking enemies for you. So you don't even have to do it. You can just go up to them. It'll hack the enemy. It'll distract them or whatever. And then you can take them down. There are five new solo assignments and three new co-op missions. They've also added the ability to have private co-op sessions that don't autofill with anyone else. They've added a player waypoint fast travel and a ton of online rebalancing tweaks. Also one more note about online, I will say it does feel a lot smoother and my recordings reflect it. Usually my recordings would be at around 40 to 30 FPS when I was playing on online, but now they're pretty much 60 all the time and it's a really, really smooth experience. And the last thing that I want to mention is that they fixed a ton of bugs. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on this update down in the comment section below. Have you played it? If you're a season pass owner, what do you think of the new character? But yeah, see you guys later. Peace.